Hey everyone, how you guys going? Welcome back to my channel. This is the best channel for those who are wanting to gain weight by building muscle. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three basic leg movements that you must include in your leg workout. But at the same time, what we're going to talk about today is the posture, the technique and the mistakes that probably you guys are making when doing these exercises, which is the reason why you probably, um, you know, experiencing knee pains or lower back pains. So all those mistakes is what I'm going to address in this video so that you can make sure that you're doing the exercises properly before you move into that progressive overloading side of things which is how you will experience muscle growth and of course over time you will gain weight so let's get right into it so the first exercise is basically squats now one thing that you need to understand is um, there are all of these different kinds of variations out there right narrow stance wide stance or sumo squats or whatnot right um, so what's important here is I'm not trying to explain the variations here. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is how your body posture should be, what the exact technique should be when it comes down to doing any kind of squats, right? Now, all you need to change when you're doing different variations is how far away your legs are going to be, right? That's the only thing that you will change. But that is easy to adopt as long as you know how to actually perform the movement from the starting position to the end position, right? Now, the first thing which is very, very important when it comes down to doing any kind of exercise is that your starting position has to be right right that energy flow has to be right in the starting position to have you know everything that your body can give you to perform that movement right so the, what the first thing is that your starting position which is you want to this is this is not your starting position okay your abs are not engaged at all you are kind of crunching here this is not your starting position your starting position is chest out shoulders pulled back abs nice and tight right you need to engage your abs so basically this is how you are you want to pull the belly button inside so that your abs are nice and engaged you want to tighten up this area i'm still breathing normally i'm still talking i'm not holding up my breath but this is how you want to make sure that this midsection is tightened up and nice and engaged and this applies for any kind of exercise and to be honest this applies to you know your regular lifestyle as well whenever you're sitting down whenever you're walking you want to make sure that this upper body is nice and upright right so basically get into the whatever variation you're going with you know whatever your leg um, position should be get into that position shoulders back chest out abs nice and tight and this spine area has to be nice and straight right when your core is engaged you will make sure that from the starting position to the end position your spine is staying nice and straight because that is how you will avoid that low back pain right when there is not much engagement here that is when you tend to you know crunch forward and then you put unwanted pressure on the low back which is the reason why a lot of people experience low back pain right okay so basically leg stance upper body is nice and engaged now the one important cue when it comes down to squatting is no matter how you're holding the weight if it's in the front or on the side or on your back whatever it is what you want to do is you want to sit backwards right as if there is something over here and you're supposed to sit on it okay that's how you want to sit so that's the first cue very very important one that whenever you're squatting down you need to pretend that you're sitting backwards right so this is how you want to do the squatting right this is the end position and then you come back up now for those people who experience any kind of knee pain or they experience a bit extra pressure on the knees why that is happening that is happening because instead of sitting backwards like this they are kneeling forwards right they're, they're doing this this is not not what you want to do because when you do this you're putting pressure on your knees the movement is not this the movement is this okay so that has to be correct whatever leg stance you're choosing your toes are also going to, always going to be in a little a little angle right so the idea is that when you squat down your knee should follow the direction of the toes right they shouldn't go in or they shouldn't go too out right so you want to control that movement so when you're squatting down your aim is to keep the toes and knees in the same angle as well as you want to make sure that your knees don't go past your toes right your knees should always stay right above the toes or a little bit further back right a little bit out is okay but this is bad because that's when your knees are under a lot of compromising position and then the third cue here is range of motion right whenever you're doing any kind of squat if you are you know of course you want a progressive overload when it comes down to muscle building and stuff like that but at the same time you want to make sure that your posture is correct before you load yourself up or your range of motion is correct before you start loading yourself up right so um, if you're somebody who's new to it then definitely check out this video of mine because um, that can be a great starter video for you guys which is you know completely body weight which means you can then work on your postures you can work on your range of 
of motions first before you go ahead and add any kind of weight on yourself right so what i mean by range of motion is that um you want to at least aim for that when you're squatting down you want to aim for that your thighs your quads come parallel to the ground right that is where you want to come down if you're lifting like a 5 kg dumbbell or something and then if you're just doing this not good okay don't worry about lifting that weight if your range of motion is not good right if this is what you're doing with the weights that you're lifting throw that weight away and start with body weight and aim for this aim for this first once you're able to do this properly with body weight that's when you can slowly start introducing dumbbells and then keep on increasing the dumbbells as you progress whilst you're able to maintain this range of motion that's what you're doing now moving on to the second exercise which is deadlifts amazing exercise for not just for the back side of your legs which is your glutes your hamstrings um but also for your back right and not just lower back but at, you know all of your back because whenever you are pulling the weight up you're engaging all of your back muscles to pull that weight up right now um though it's an amazing exercise but this is one of the exercise where most of the people and especially beginners they experience a lot of pain in this area right in the in the lower back area so the pain is basically coming from the wrong posture that they're doing an engagement of wrong muscles when lifting the weight up right so whenever you feel any kind of pressure in lower back that means the core area like this area you did not engage it properly right you let it loose like this instead of keeping it nice and tight nice and engaged nice and straight because once your core is nice and engaged and nice and tight there is no way you will be using um your lower back to lift your yourself back up right you will be able to create a better mind to muscle connection with your glutes with your hamstrings to you know bring that weight nice and up and perform your deadlifts the way it should be performed right so that is the key that mid section has to be nicely engaged plus the starting position has to be right and third mind to muscle connection has to be right to ensure that you're using the right muscle that should be in involved in that particular movement right so again there are different kinds of variations you know narrow stands wide stands there are conventional deadlifts there are romanian deadlifts there are stiff legged deadlifts um also so deadlifts are there so again i'm not going to talk about the variations here but um no matter what kind of variations you're doing once you understand the basic posture and the technique of the exercise you will be fine with any kind of variation right so first comes the starting position of the exercise so you know no matter what kind of variation you're doing you can adjust your legs accordingly and then again you know pull your shoulders back chest out abs nice and engaged core nice and tight this mid mid section has to be nice and tight right now the movement that you have to do and keep in mind is that you're bending forward you're hinging at your hips but at the same time when you're doing that bend you're not just bending forward like this right you're bending forward and you're pushing your hips backwards right so you're doing this okay you're bending forward and you're pushing your hips backwards so that you can create this angle here which is where you will feel the most stretch in your hamstrings right because of course it's mainly focused on your hamstrings and then of course your glutes are also involved in the exercise so basically what you want to do is keeping in mind that yes you are bending forwards but then you are driving your hips backwards so that you can create this angle here feel a good stretch and then pressing through your heels you bring yourself back up and you squeeze your glutes in this position okay so when you do that when you create that angle keeping your abs nice and tight your core nice and engaged and then pushing through your heels and engaging your glutes to lift yourself back up there is no way there is going to be any unwanted pressure on your lower back right so as long as you can do that and as long as you can kind of create that mind to muscle connection with your hamstring and with your glutes while doing the exercise you will be able to keep any kind of pressure away from your lower back second mistake that a lot of people do is you know when whenever you're doing any kind of deadlifts what you want to make sure is that whatever weight you're holding whether it's dumbbells or barbells or what not you want to make sure that the weight stays close to your body right for example i'm holding a dumbbell or a bar or whatever um when i'm doing the exercise i want to keep the weights close to my body the far it will go it will put a lot extra pressure on your back okay so this is one of the other mistakes that a lot of people do that when they go down they do this okay and as as soon as they do this then their body has to kind of you know include a lot extra muscle including your lower back muscles to kind of you know understand that how they will be holding that weight that far away from the body and that's when you engage this muscle and then of course you know over the period of time when you constantly do the same thing um you will experience pain in that lower back right so that is a big no make sure whenever you're doing the exercise any kind of deadlifts the weight oh, sorry the weight has to stay 
close to your shins right almost rubbing through the shins and then you bring yourself back up and the third mistake that a lot of people do is that you know there is no control there is no engagement in the spine and what they're doing is you know they are they're crunching when they're doing their deadlifts right um, which means again it takes you back to the starting position that your abs were not engaged which is the reason why you know you're just doing this um, your shoulders and your upper body was not nice and upright which is the reason why you just like you know um, kind of crunching when you're doing your deadlifts and of course you know again the posture of the starting position is incorrect and when you do that you're just putting too much pressure on your on your back because there is there is no engagement going on right the body is not nice and tight um, all the unwanted muscles are involved in when you're doing that exercise and then of course um, where you're supposed to feel you won't feel there and instead you will feel in your arms or in your in your back and all that kind of stuff and you will experience all that unwanted pain so basically no matter what kind of variation you're doing of a deadlift just make sure you bend forwards drive your hips backwards keep the weights close to your body go as low as possible where you can feel the most stretch whilst also making sure that the spine stays nice and straight right you don't want to go all the way down and lose your upper body um, posture you want to only go far enough where you can feel a good stretch maintain the posture and bring yourself back up okay And now comes the third exercise which is our lunges now again there are millions of variations of lunges as well so i'm not going to get into the variations um, but the one major thing that a lot of people um, struggle with is balancing because of course you know your legs are um, not together you have kind of like you know staggered them a little bit um, so one thing is balancing which of course will take a lot of practice and stuff like that to, you know to kind of figure out the balancing side of things but what you can do in the initial phase of your weight gain journey is that you can adopt for a rail track leg placement instead of tightrope placement right what tightrope means is that you know your front leg is almost you know in front of your back leg so when this happens you know a lot of balancing issues happen right so if you have any issues with balancing when doing any kind of lunges what you can do is instead of keeping them right in front of each other you can keep them a little bit far apart right like this so it's like a rail track which will give you a bit better you know balancing especially in the initial phases and then of course as you progress and as you get grow stronger you can bring that leg back and you know you can progress to that variation right and if you still struggle with balancing yourself no matter what kind of leg placement you're doing you can always do the exercise next to a wall in the initial stages and just make sure you take support from a wall or for, from any kind of object um, to kind of you know understand that balancing side of things understand the exercise first and then you can remove that hand from the wall and do the exercise solo without taking any kind of assistance also another thing to find that balance is that when you're doing any kind of lunges or any kind of single leg um, exercise just make sure that you keep your eyes at one point and don't move your eyes around too much because of course when you move around your eyes too much then you kind of lose your balance but if you're looking at one place then you can maintain that balance you can create that mind to muscle connection a lot better and you can actually focus on the actual exercise and the muscles that you should be engaging in that particular movement now what the posture should be when it comes down to lunges is basically you know of course the upper body posture remains the same for any kind of exercise which is you know shoulders pulled back chest out abs nice and tight so that you know you have nice upright um, body when you're getting to that starting position of the exercise right now what's important is in lunges is to understand the split that you're creating whilst doing your lunges has to be right right so a lot of people do it like this where you know um, the gap between the legs is not much which means when they lunge down they lean forward the knees goes way past their um, toes which means they put so much pressure unwanted pressure on the knee and that is um, when they experience knee pains and stuff like that right that's not what you're doing just basically treat it as a single leg squat which means you want to separate your legs at a distance where you can ensure where you can ensure that when you you know lunge down your front leg which is the working leg comes almost parallel to the ground your knee always stays behind or right above your toes it's not going like this okay and then you're sitting straight down okay 
sitting backwards as if you're sitting on a chair the same strategy that we apply for any kind of squat as well that instead of leaning forward you want to sit backwards right so that you can put pressure on that quad put pressure on that glute that you're uh, you know in trying to engage of that working leg now how wide that step has to be um, can vary from person to person because of course you know we all have some people have long legs some people have short legs um, the thigh muscles are longer for some people um, shorter for some people so it may vary for everybody but what you want to do is um, before starting the exercise you know just just split split your legs apart and see how your legs are positioning when you're actually performing the movement is your um, working leg coming parallel to the ground right is your knee going past or not right so this is how you will determine if you need to um, go shorter or go wider or whatnot right and of course when you're doing that you know with that nice upright posture you want to make sure that your upper body stays nice and straight right you don't want to do this okay because if you're going to do this then again you are keeping everything loose and you're putting unwanted pressure on your on your back right which of course you don't want to do because that, that's when you experience you know uh, back pain and stuff like that right so you always want to make sure that upper body stays nice and straight and the whole idea is that you're going down and up down and up okay keeping the whole body engaged now another important thing is range of motion now a lot of people you know because of course muscle building is all about progressive overloading and people are like you know loading themselves with the weights and stuff like that but they're actually not focusing on the range of motion right but again you know if you are if you're holding all these big massive dumbbells and this is what you're doing throw those dumbbells away because you're not really doing any justice to the muscle that you're working on right throw those dumbbells away work on your range of motion first before you decide to load yourself up with any kind of dumbbell and of course if you're a beginner start with lighter weights and then progress to heavier weights right put your ego away don't worry about lifting five kgs from day one because if as i said if you're doing this there's no point lifting five kgs or 10 kgs because your muscle is not even getting the work done that it should um, to experience that growth so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and as i said if you're an absolute beginner or if you're um, still figuring out the posture the techniques and things like that for these basic movements then 100 percent learn from this video and then be sure to start with this low body body weight workout at home so that you can practice the movements and better yourself in the posture and techniques of these basic movements and then of course you can explore all of the other exercises that are there on my youtube channel to get that leg gains coming your way and of course always make sure that you are supporting all your workouts um, and your weight gain journey with good surplus calories and i posted this amazing video last week um, where i talked about the five perfect weight gain foods that you must include in your food plan so definitely check out that video as well if you haven't seen it yet and be sure to include those kind of ingredients and ensure that you're eating in surplus every single day to support those gains and keep gaining and keep getting stronger all right you guys on that note i'm gonna see you guys next week till then be sure to practice 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 and keep growing see you guys